Employers, do you feel bad that in Canada, 54% of workers and in the US, 63% of workers are living paycheck to paycheck? If you do, there's something you can do to change that right now. In this video, I will show you exactly how you can help your employees not live paycheck to paycheck and how you can boost your bottom line at the same time. The problem, paychecks don't come with instructions. It's up to us to learn sound money management skills and enjoy reaping the rewards. As working adults, we are expected to be able to manage our finances responsibly. However, many people aren't taught how to do this. If employers want to truly help their employees, I would recommend that their employment benefits plan incorporate either financial counselors or financial coaches. My position is simple. People may already know how to budget, save, stay away from debt, and use credit wisely. But when there is no one holding you accountable, it's easier to not do the things you know you should be doing. Your employees spend a lot of time working for you. It's time you incorporate a financial coach or counselor into your benefits plan who will work hard for them. To be fair, employers are becoming increasingly aware of how personal financial difficulty is affecting performance at work, and ultimately the bottom line. Employees who are stressed because of their finances are less able to focus on career and personal goals. They are also less able to communicate effectively and request more time off to attend personal, legal, or medical matters. Financial stress can affect employees at any income level. It's not a matter of how much you make. It's what you do with what you've got. Employers are not only in a key position to provide money management information and assistance to employees. They will also benefit directly if they do. Benefits of having financially fit employees include Employees are less distracted and are better able to stay focused on company objectives, leading to higher productivity. When employees are less stressed financially, they are more likely to show up to work, be on time, and have less stress-related illnesses. Employees will also have fewer wage garnishments, pay advance requests, and use less of the assistant programs, which will decrease the HR costs. Another thing that employees will also have is an increased ability to communicate and cooperate effectively with colleagues and to take instruction from supervisors because their mind will be less cluttered with financial stress. I hope you're enjoying this video. I wanted to let you know that I have included a link for monday.com in the description box below. If you're an employer or an employee, monday.com is an affordable project management software and it comes with key features for collaboration, viewing timelines and calendars, as well as time tracking and more. I think this would be a great project management system to use in the workplace setting. I also love the custom automation that automates repetitive tasks. I think this program can add tremendous value to your workplace. Some early signs of financial difficulty include continually carrying debt on credit cards, depending on overdrafts or lines of credit to make ends meet, using one form of credit to pay for another, hiding spending from a partner, or using credit to pay for essential living costs are some of the early indications that someone is in or may be heading toward financial difficulty. Signs of more serious financial difficulty can quickly follow. Receiving past due letters and collection calls at home or work sleepless nights due to financial worries or legal action by creditors. As a financial coach, I am trained on how to resolve some of these stressful situations that employees may find themselves in. If you want to know more information about how a financial coach can help your business, organization, or help you individually, please check out moneytimecoaching.com so you can take a look at some services uh, that will be able to help you. I'll quickly explain some situations that people can find themselves in that would likely lead them into financial difficulties. So 
A person can experience financial difficulties due to excessive use of credit. And that really comes from using your credit for uh, living expenses rather than for assets or emergencies. Another um, reason why people can find themselves in, in financial difficulty is due to unemployment or underemployment, which is where people simply don't get enough hours uh, to work during the week. Um, typically, their work schedule is very fluctuates week to week, and it doesn't usually uh, equate to part-time hours. It's under part-time hours. Some people don't have budgets and they lack financial education. And this also plays a factor into um, having financial difficulties. If you don't know where your money is going, your money has control over you rather than you having control over your money. Injury and illness, uh, of course, can play a role in, in financial difficulty, um, primarily just not having uh, enough money saved over or having insurance uh, to protect you in those situations. Uh, divorce and separation is another big one uh, that can affect uh, your employees' um, you know, financial situation. High student loan debt. Uh, I think this is becoming more and more common as uh, you know, people uh, graduate university or college uh, they do carry a lot of, uh, you know, financial debt and that can affect their situation. Also, education expenses. Some people do continue to take courses uh, even though they work full time. So that can affect their overall finances and uh, something we're all aware of, uh, you know, due to inflation and just what's been happening with the market. High housing costs. Um, and if you guys uh, saw the other video I posted on um, the Canada housing benefit, uh, you guys can see there how to take advantage of, you know, uh, receiving the $500 tax free um, rent relief uh, that's being offered by, by the federal government. Um, so um, check that out. If you notice some of these financial indications of difficulty in the workplace, Financial coaching and counseling can be vital to improving the lives of your employees and the bottom line because workers will be more productive at work opposed to stressed. Here are the financial indications. Inexplainable or frequent calls at work, garnishments, wage assignment requests from payday loan companies, repeated confirmation of employment, and income requests. Requests for time off to deal with legal matters, if you notice your employees are moody, depressed, um, then that could be an indication as well. Different socially, uh, especially with other coworkers in the office. Physical signs of stress can look like uh, if you have an employee that typically is, uh, you know, usually uh, keeps themselves uh, well mannered and well groomed, uh, and then suddenly they look more unkempt, uh, you know, than they did previously. Um, that's an indication possibly and tiredness nervousness as well as irritability if there's a sudden inability to problem solve or conduct objective analysis as well uh, this can be an indication of some sort of financial hardship have resources available to help your employees know which reputable sources of assistance are available that you can refer your employees you want to refer employees to financial coaches or counselors that are AFC certified because this is the highest standard in the industry. Know that your employees have rights as well as responsibilities around debt collection. Upsetting calls at work are unnecessary. A financial coach can provide solid solutions to ensure these types of calls do not continue. Support an employee's effort to live within their means on a budget and without credit. Does your workplace have ongoing fundraising campaigns? Is eating out the norm? Are your dress code expectations in line with salaries? Get creative with solutions to these situations. For example, is your lunchroom a friendly place to eat? Again, here is where a financial coach can help create a financially healthy and safe workplace. Coming to an employer is usually a last resort. Most people who experience financial difficulty will have already exhausted any conventional options available to them. If an employee comes to you, try to be as flexible as possible and try to accommodate the request for assistance. For example, if they need to change their payroll account on short notice, um, that's something you may want to accommodate. They may need to do this to avoid an offset or to deal with legal matters. And look, having a financial coach as an employee benefit reduces the chances of this happening. What employees can learn to do to help themselves. Manage personal finances by setting up and following a personal budget. Use credit cards not for everyday expenses, 
but for more opportunities like upgrading a course or buying an asset. And you want to use loans wisely. You want to be aware of the cost of borrowing and shop around before you accept the loan. The associated benefits include less stress. Money is where it needs to be. Better ability to communicate with family, friends, and colleagues. Positive example for your children. Um, and it's something that they'll be able to follow because you'll be using money the right way. In closing, if you're an employee that is just starting to experience financial difficulties, get help at the first sign of trouble because more options to deal with debt are available earlier on, which makes it easier to avoid a financial crisis. Working with an accredited financial coach can better help you plan for the future and articulate your financial goals. This is important because financial goals help us govern our spending and resist the pressure to spend impulsively. This helps us reach financial goals and avoid the negative cycle of feeling bad about yourself. Spending and then feeling increased guilt and stress, which causes more impulsive spending. So, employers, I hope that you are able to see the value of having an accredited financial counselor or coach on your employee benefit plan. The benefit to you would be an increased bottom line due to more productivity from workers. But at the same time, you provide your employees with the resource they need to help them break free of living paycheck to paycheck. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of this helpful content going forward. Also, I would like to know if you're an employer, um, your thoughts on this video. Like, are you excited about the possibility of leveraging a financial coach to help you, um, you know, help your employees not live paycheck to paycheck as well as improve your bottom line? And uh, employees, are you guys happy about this new possibility of having a financial coach uh, help you improve your finances? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Subscribe now.